On the Disney Cruise Line, I have experienced the Family Ocean View stateroom with veranda, the porthole stateroom with that window to the outside, and now the Navigator's veranda. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you some of my thoughts about the Navigator's veranda, how it felt different, how, what I liked, what I didn't like, and some of the price differences. On the seven night Eastern Caribbean cruise with my brother, we had the opportunity to experience the Ocean View porthole, which is a window to the outside. We can't reach out there and smell the ocean air, but it was a nice view. To me, having that view was important, but not critical. I haven't tried the inside stateroom yet, but I really did enjoy being able to open the window, see where we were, but was upgrading to the Navigator's veranda worth it? My dad mentioned before the cruise that having some kind of veranda would mean a lot to him, so I wanted to make sure we got one, and the Navigator's veranda was the least expensive one that I could find on our cruise. I read some reviews in advance. Most of them were relatively positive about the Navigator's veranda, but some said it felt a little bit closed in, and I wanted to address some of that in today's video. In my opinion, the Navigator's veranda is actually one of the very best rooms that I have stayed in, simply because it was a little bit cooler, a little bit windy, there was some rain at some times, and you could still use your veranda even when it was windy and raining because the wind and rain wasn't really getting in the veranda. Not too much, simply because you were kind of guarded. There was a little bit more above you to the sides. You weren't closed in, but you had some more protection from the elements, yet you could still feel that open breeze, smell the ocean air. It was magical. Our Navigator's veranda was on deck six, and we got a great view of the sea and the ports of call. We could see just about everything around us. It was awesome. After the cruise, Dad and I were discussing the Navigator's veranda and how much we liked it, and it was a great way to start the day. We would start our mornings out there just by looking out there just for a few minutes, breathing in some of that ocean air. We both loved it. That being said, we didn't spend as much time on the veranda as we thought we were going to. That was just what we thought. We loved being able to sit back and relax near Cove Cafe. We were doing activities, running around, seeing the movies, the shows. It was so exciting. We loved the entire thing. But would we get it again knowing that that's how we enjoy cruising together? I think we both agree the answer is yes. It definitely added to the experience, especially first thing in the morning. So you know that we both loved it, but another thought, was it worth the additional cost over maybe an ocean view stateroom with that porthole window? The average difference in cost between a navigator's veranda room and a porthole room Room with a window on a seven night cruise is anywhere between $400 and $1,200 difference. It's actually a relatively hard number to find simply because the itineraries are different and the times of year, it varies a lot, but let's just say $800 difference for the purposes of this video. Given the choice between a navigator's veranda room or a porthole ocean view stateroom, again with that window, saving $800, dad and I agreed again, we probably would end up saving that $800 and using it on something else things around the ship, other cruises, port excursions, a lot of things we could do with that money. The reason we both agreed on this is because when we want to smell that fresh ocean air or sit out on the sun, we can always do it on deck nine, deck 10, or even deck four and still be protected from the rain. Now with all of this being said, I am definitely going to be getting another veranda view room in the future on the Disney Cruise Line. That goes to show how much I valued it, but that being said, there are definitely going to be cruises where I go maybe inside or porthole just so I can vary the costs. Now those are my thoughts I would love to hear from you. Have you tried the Navigator's Veranda? Do you want to try it now after seeing the video? Or maybe you'd rather just have that porthole ocean view stateroom so you can see the ocean but save a little bit of that money, maybe for excursions out at Castaway Key. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for being a part of the magic with me. Until next time, have a magical day.